so I thought I would do a video I guess going along with uh, my pouch making it's it's not like a tutorial or anything I can I can actually I can share the link to the tutorial I used to learn how to make these pouches like a million years ago but um, yeah so this is how it starts the very beginning this is my order from Spoonflower. Um, Spoonflower is a site that you can get any fabric made with, um, you know, your own pictures on. Hello. I have a lot to cut right now. But let's start with this one so I can get an idea of what it's like. Um, these are a couple new ones, yay! So yeah, I'm going to cut these apart a little smaller, not, uh, I'm not going to cut them out like the, to the each pouch size quite yet. I have to cut them into strips and then I'm going to, um, iron them onto fusible interfacing and then cut them out individually, so stay tuned. So now on to the next phase. Uh, this is fusible interfacing. It is like something you iron onto the fabric so it um, is more stiff and, and thick. So I, I, I used to order, uh, what's it called? Upholstery weight fabric from Spoonflower. Um, and not put this on, but I changed my mind at, after a few years because I noticed that the, the whatever they used, like the ink, started to rub off on the fusible or on the actual fabric on that easier because it was kind of like ribbed, I guess you, you could say. So I changed over to just regular co uh, cotton and put this on the back. So I think it's definitely more quality so it takes me more time but I just I would rather it look nice longer so on to the next phase
of the lighting is really bad. Sorry about that. Uh, so I did manage to get all of the pouches outsides and the liner cut out yesterday. It took until 8 o'clock at least. I can't remember. So we got these small ones and these large ones. So I'm going to be very busy. So the, the next phase is attaching the zipper. Which I get them in bulk. And so, okay, this isn't that interesting, but yeah, I'm gonna go through and attach the zipper to one side of the uh, outside and the in liner, and then I'm gonna go through and attach the zipper to the other side of all of them, and that might take me the rest of today. <laughs> Not complaining, it's just... A very long process. So here we go. I finished the first round they're a little bit thicker now because they got zippers attached so now what I have is one side that's attached so I have to flip it the other way and then take the other side and I gotta do put these sides together I hope you can see this not that it's tutorial because it doesn't really matter, I guess. But I have to line up this and then put the inside on the other side and pin all three layers together. So I do as many as I can at once, like the pinning, until I run out of pins and then I'll run the stitch across the top and then I'll go and I'll pin the rest so I don't know I don't know if I'll get this done today but it would be really great if I did that would be really moving <sighs> let's go
I'm on the last leg. I have sewed all the holes shut, so now what I have to do is just take each one and stuff the inside inside and zip it shut. It's so satisfying. So I hope this was mildly interesting. It took me... Now I lost track. Four or five days to get through it out, but I am done and on to the next thing. So maybe I'll see you at Franklin Apple Fest if you are around. If not, it's fine, but it would be nice. Thanks again. I love you. Bye.